Hey folks, three days ago when I woke up, was a huge load of snow on my window. Today, 16 degrees centigrade, of course. It's nuts. Now let's talk about something that is at least as nuts as the weather. Dating. People say dating culture nowadays, it's similar to applying for a job. It's not similar. It's exactly the same. Now let's play a little role game. Let's say women, girls, ladies are the employers, the companies, and men, boys, Gentlemen are the applicants, because most of the time that's the case. What's funny is everybody's complaining. You know, the company are <laughs> complaining that they cannot find any skilled workers. Nobody wants to work anymore. Oh, so difficult. And the applicants are complaining. The companies have too high expectations and they want to pay anything for it. Everybody's unhappy. <laughs> so from now on, now on, I only refer to companies, not to the dating culture, but you will see the parallels. Now, everybody has a profile. The company has a profile where they describe themselves, and the applicant has a profile, let's say a CV, then the application letter. Now on the profile on the company, you can read stuff like amazing work culture, low hierarchy, awesome pay, bonus, six weeks of vacation, stuff like that. If they won't be honest, they would say something like toxic work environment, we suck you dry, everybody hates each other, no validation at all. Well, they don't do that. If they did, nobody would apply for a job. So what they do? They lie. Now, you in your application letter, you write things like awesome team player, always ready to walk the extra mile, reliable, highly skilled, stuff like that. You don't tell them that your skills are more than 10 years old that you have trust issues, ADHD, and whatever. You don't, because in that case, you wouldn't get an, an, an appointment for an interview. So what you do, you lie. And now you get an appointment for a job interview. And you show up, and there's two liars sitting at the same table. And you know, there's books outside for companies. Like, like, the best questions for your applicants. And there's the same or similar books for employees, like how to master the most frequent questions from a company. It's crazy. And then, as an employee, when they ask you a question, either you pick the answer of the book, or psychology calls it socially expected answers. You answer the question in the way that is not from inside you, not what you feel or think, but it's what you think 
your opponent wants to hear. Very useful. Now the, the interview went pretty fine. Each of the parties lied very professional. Awesome. Now your employer is going to show you your future workplace. You know what I mean. And you think, that's nice. I could imagine to work here on, on a frequent basis. And then finally, your appointment is over. Interview was awesome. Workplace was even nicer. <laughs> Workplace. And your employer says, we'll have to check out some other applicants. And if you make it to the second round, we'll call you. And you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Let's say that you make it to the second round. Another interview. And you ask, <laughs> can I see the workplace again? Yeah, of course. And at the end of the day, the employer asks you, do you have any questions for us? And you say, yes. I would like to know how many applicants have you shown your workplace before? Or what happened to the guy who held the position before me? Why did he leave? Nobody wants to hear those kind of questions. And finally, the company decides that they want to work with you. And you decide that this would be a nice <laughs> workplace. And your employer says, okay, your position is a terminated contract for two months. Maybe we find something better. If we don't find anything better, we have the option to prolong this up to four months until we find something better. And we pay you minimum wage. You sign the contract anyway. Start working and pretty soon you find out you're not the only one at the workplace. Environment is toxic as environment is toxic as fuck. Everybody hates each other. Bullies everywhere. Can't you quit? And why is that? Because nobody had the balls to say the truth about how shitty they really are. For fuck's sake, be honest. Back to people. Now, since everybody's lying, everybody's unhappy. And now, especially on TikTok, the hashtags trending like women in male fields and the opposite, men in female fields, where they're complaining about each other. Simply due to the fact that they cannot tell the truth from the very beginning. Now, a short story out of my life before I close this. I once met a girl while hiking. We walked together, talked together, met several times for coffee, for dinner, stuff like that. It was pretty awesome. And I was thinking maybe this could lead to something more. And then one day, I asked her, what did you do on weekend? And she said, oh, I met a guy from Tinder. Fuck you. Oh, just thinking about that. Dating is like the double slit experiment. You know, quantum mechanics. 
If you don't know, <laughs> Google it. You know, as long as you're watching and everything is under control, you have two columns, man and woman. And as soon as you look away, <laughs> there's 12 other columns. Funny. We are doomed. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned. Ciao, ciao.